guys welcome back to my channel i'm sorry about the lighting right now it's not the greatest i'm about to go to target but really quickly i want to reintroduce myself i'm savannah if you're new here and i'm so excited that you are choosing to watch this video um i think i'm gonna be vlogging throughout the day maybe even the entire weekend but i'm quickly about to run to target either target hobby lobby or like joann's kind of store because I want to find new journals so I can track a few things that my life coach and I um, are trying to get me to do on a daily basis. So I'm going to be tracking what I eat during the day. Also three things that I feel good about. What else? I feel like there's so many things. So it's what I eat during the day, what I feel good about. Also everything that I spend money on. So literally even if it's just a pack of gum, write, writing down like where I'm spending my money. I know that all of this kind of might sound like a bit much, but it's important for like all five categories of your life to be kind of in alignment. And if you guys don't know which five categories I'm referring to, it is financial, spiritual, physical, emotional, and intellectual. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm still like new to this um but my life coach and i had our third chat this morning so it was really really good um we went over a lot of stuff but i'm currently sweating my butt off right now so i need to get going i'm gonna run to target and then show you guys what i end up picking up all right so i just got back from target and i want to show you guys what i picked up really quick so i don't think you can go to target for just what you're wanting so i ended up getting one extra thing but hey only one thing that's that's pretty good so i obviously got the journal which i'm really into this one i'm like a very minimalistic person and don't like a lot of stuff going on and this is like super neutral and super cute it's also leather if you can't tell so i like that just seems a little bit more durable so it just says notebook on the front and i was planning on getting a few different journals but then i thought that that might be a little excessive um and i also feel like i always think things are way more expensive than they actually are i think that this notebook was actually let's look yeah, it was only $6, so I honestly might go back and purchase another one, but I think one should be fine for now. So I'm going to see if one will work, which I'm sure it will. I just think that I kind of want like specific journals for like all kinds of different things. So I don't know. We'll see if I end up getting another one. And I also picked up this room spray. So this is by Magnolia Home. Um, what are their names? I always forget their names. Chip and Joanna. That's their little like home line and I walked past the home stuff in Target because they always usually have really cool stuff there and I smelled this and I'm the worst at explaining things in general so smells is like impossible for me to describe which it probably is for everybody because it's just a really hard thing to describe unless it's like one specific smell like vanilla or something. This is called pomelo. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correct. But whenever I smelt it, initially it reminded me so much of what Oribe products smell like. I don't know if you guys have used those before, but I know a lot of salons use them, like their shampoos and conditioners, if I could speak, and also their texturizing spray. And that smell is everything to me. I've purchased their perfume before because I love the smell so much and I love their hair stuff. But this kind of like initially smelt like that to me. So... But then whenever I like opened it and smelt it, it didn't exactly smell like that. But I don't know. It has like a really cool smell to me and I'm just really into it. But I'm going to let you decide if you want it or not by going to Target and smelling it yourself. Because I genuinely have no idea how to explain the smell. But I'm, hold on. Let's spray it again. Oh, I don't know. I love it. It's not like, it's not a florally smell. Actually, hold up. Let's see if it explains the smell. Add a touch of elegance to your space with our timelessly designed room spray. Perfect for any room of the house. Um, oh, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, pomelo, fig, and wild basil. That is what it's fragranced with. I, get, I cannot talk. That is what it is fragranced with. So I'm not even sure what pomelo is, to be honest, but pomelo, fig, and wild basil. That's what this is fragranced with. So if you know what those things smell like, then good for you. I don't. But this smells really good. They also had a few other scents as well. But since I have this room spray now, it has motivated me to pick my room up a little bit. Which my room is pretty clean. I cleaned it the other day. But I just need to make my bed, do my laundry, and pick a few things up off the floor from getting ready and whatnot. And then I'm going to spray my room with this. I'm also going to spray like my clothes and my closet with this. I'm just so obsessed with what this smells like. 
and probably going to spray my car with it too. So after I do that though, I want to talk a little bit about this book that I'm reading. I just started today and I'm already obsessed and also a little bit about how my life coaching lessons are going. Okay, I lied. I did not pick my room up, but um, really quickly I started to journal just a little bit because some of the things she wants me to journal daily, or not necessarily journal, but write down daily are, like I mentioned, I think in the beginning of the vlog was like what I eat during the day and then like what I'm spending my money on. And I think, cause like I said, I wanted to purchase a few different journals to have like for specific things. But I think instead, because that's like a little much, I think instead, which I literally was looking at them while I was at Target and I didn't get them. Um, I'm going to get those little like sticky notes that like divide sections in like binders usually. And I'm gonna use that for my journal to kind of put like my spending in one section and then like what I eat in one section instead of like making it like a few pages back, if that makes sense. So like it'll be easier to find that way. And then uh, making different sections for other things that I wanna write down daily as well. Um, instead of having to buy multiple journals and having to like keep track of them. Cause now that I think about it, I'm gonna wanna like probably take this bad boy around with me and I can't have like six different journals in my purse and like do daily life with that. So I think that that's a better idea. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because I thought it was a cute little tip. Okay, so I'm a terrible person. I never ended up picking my room up. I ended up dyeing my eyebrows and um, sitting on my phone, but whatever. <laughs> um, really quickly, I want to talk to you guys about this book that I started reading called Hashtag Healthy Adult. This book was written by Lori Jean Glass, which is the founder of the Pivot program that I've been talking about in some of my videos. I think actually only one. Um, <laughs> But that is who I have my life coach through. And like I said earlier, I've had three meetings so far and it's absolutely incredible. And I'm so excited to see, you know, how much I grow through this. And I just, I'm so excited to just grow in general and in all five categories. Um, and I just wanted to say that this book talks a lot about the pivot process. So if you guys are a little skeptical or just want a little bit more information and you guys are interested in reading, then I would totally recommend picking this book up. I've only read the introduction and the first chapter so far and I'm blown away. For one, I can't even imagine um, all that Lori has been through. It talks a lot about her story, also about you know how the pivot process works. But I honestly started crying like 13 pages in because she talks obviously a little bit about herself and like how she got to the point of creating a program for people. And you guys, it makes me, I don't know how to explain my feelings, but obviously she has been through so, so much like crazy stuff. And I don't really want to give it away just in case you guys want to read it. Um, but it's almost like so hopeful to read a book about something so tragic that someone has been through and how amazing that experience was able to shape them. Um, obviously, we can't choose what we go through in life. We can only choose how we respond to it. And I think that she is like a beautiful example of that because she's just been through traumatic things. like full-on traumatic things and she started this amazing program that has helped so many people with their mental health and just being able to be the healthiest version of themselves and that's what the whole pivot process is really about just being the best version of yourself figuring out how to manage things but also being able to pinpoint where certain things started or why you do certain things a lot of times especially for me I have certain behaviors and I have um, consistent ways of dealing with things or responding to things and I don't know why I do the things that I do and it's so interesting to me to really figure out why you do the things you do so it really allows you to be able to pinpoint those things through all of the modules that I do through pivot and I'm gonna continue reading this book obviously I haven't finished yet obviously I've only read one chapter but I'm already so moved by it and feel like Every single person should read this book. Everyone, Ev everyone, everyone should read this book. I, I don't know, I just like don't have enough good words to say about it, it's so good. And I think I'm actually gonna go back outside and read a little bit more and soak up some sun while it's still daylight. It's 6.30 here, so it's still pretty bright out and um, I still have a little bit of time to tan, but I just wanted to show you guys this book 
because I seriously recommend it 100%. I couldn't recommend it enough, honestly. And for me to only be one chapter in and feel like everybody should read this book, like, that's very eye-opening to me. Um, I actually have already sent it to one person because I felt so moved to give this gift to somebody else. Um, and I think that this is going to be the book that I, whenever I'm done reading, pass on to so many others and people that I care about because I just think it's important for people to realize that, yes, as we grow up and as life shapes us, we go through sometimes some really traumatic things, but it's all about how we choose to respond to them and not choosing to be the victim. Uh, so I don't know, I just think that that's really important in life, especially going into relationships. This also talks about, well, the front of the book says pivot from fantasy to reality, confusion to clarity, and isolation to connection. And this is talking about not just your relationship with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, more so like every relationship in your life, your relationship with yourself, your parents, your friends, coworkers, husbands, wives also. It's just amazing and I'm so excited to see how I grow while taking this course. So if you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. I bought this book on Amazon and it was here within like three to four days, so it's super quick. Um, but if you guys do end up buying it, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I am and I love you guys a lot. Okay, oop, it's dark. No, the lighting's weird. Ooh, I look like I'm in like a paranormal activity movie. What the heck? Okay. Um, so my mom's in town, so I'm actually going to head over there tonight to my sister's to sleep over and visit her while she's here. But I picked up crumble cookie to take over. And if you guys have a crumble near you, you have to stop what you're doing and go pick them up. But let me show you what they look like. They're so good. Look how amazing these look. So this is chocolate chip, Nutella sea salt, churro, and then chilled sugar. Each, like I was saying, each week they have all different flavors and um, they have like, I think they have two or three signature flavors that are always the same, which I'm pretty sure is just the chocolate chip and sugar or chilled sugar cookie. Um, so the flavors change weekly um, and they always have like super cool flavors. So like I said, if you have a crumble near you, please go. Actually, it's kind of weird though because I feel like everyone that I've talked to either loves it or hates it. Like I don't really feel like there's an in-between. I personally love it. So if you're a big cookie person, check them out. Good afternoon, you guys. I just got back from hanging out with my mom and my sisters. It's now Saturday, which is so weird because it feels like Sunday. Um, I woke up very late today, which I'm kind of disappointed in myself about, but whatever. I guess I was super tired. Um, but I'm about to go on my walk for the day so I can get it out of the way because I did not go on one yesterday. So I definitely need to make it happen today. So I'm about to go do that and then do laundry and pick up my room. And honestly, it's so pretty outside. Like I need to find something to do, but I just want to make sure my priorities are done first so I don't have to stress out about them. Okay, so I want to show you guys something really quickly, which I've heard of it before, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have too but it's called sweet sweat and it's just this little thing it's kind of like a deodorant stick but like the exact opposite like you rub it on like deodorant but it makes you sweat more and it looks like this it actually smells so incredible and then also this little waist like trimmer is what they call it i think and i've been wearing these on my walks like wearing this on my walk lately with that underneath it and it's made me sweat like a crazy person. I don't need help sweating in general, but I'm just thinking it might help me like lose a little bit of fat there maybe or like water weight, I don't know. I don't know how all that works and I know you can't like spot train or whatever, but um, I've been loving it. It helps me sweat so much and it just like makes me feel like not bloated anymore. So I'm gonna show you guys quickly um, what it looks like on and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after when I take it off because I'm about to go on my walk. So I'm just going to Rub this on. Like I said, it smells so freaking good. It smells kind of like honeysuckle. Okay. Now I'm going to put this on. And I'm obviously making it super tight. And it looks like that. And now I'm just going to pull my shorts over it and go for my walk and honestly it's super comfortable too for like 
just support like I feel like it just helps my posture a lot okay so cute right now just wait and see how much this thing makes me sweat it's mind-blowing honestly okay brace yourselves because this is gross because it's a lot of sweat <laughs> honestly hold on <sighs> it's gonna be a lot of sweat I'm aware but just to prove to you guys that this works I feel like the lighting sucks please look at that it's insane it's so gross I feel like I honestly just walked out of like a pool. Okay, here we go. Do you see all of that sweat? Ew. Okay, and here it is. Pretty gross, but I'd say it works and I'd say that it's worth it. I just got back, I did two miles and I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna quickly shower and then get ready for the day even though it's, I'm pretty sure it's almost three o'clock, not gonna lie. Oh, it's 2.03, not much better, but I'm gonna get ready for the day. Um, haven't really eaten anything yet, so I should probably do that and go from there. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and it was just a body shower. I have to wash my hair every day a week now, so I try not to wash my hair at all over the weekend just to give it a break. But since I am about to finish up my skincare, I want to show you guys really quickly what I've been using because I am absolutely in love with all of these products and I feel like my skin is the best it has ever been in my entire life. So I just want to show you guys what I've been using. So I just washed my face in the shower using the Rejuvi Facial Cleanser. This stuff is so amazing. It's not the type of cleanser that lathers really, but... So it does take a little bit more, but it just makes my skin feel so smooth and so even. And then what I go in with next is the Rejuvi Skin Healing Gel. This stuff is really good too. And both of these products are all natural, so they're just incredible for your skin. I go in with three pumps of this, and that's a really good amount for me. But, oh, it smells so good. There's cucumber, um, tea tree, I think. Actually, no, not tea tree. It's cucumber, aloe vera gel chamomile extract and then a few other things but it's so amazing and i'm obsessed with it i actually just repurchased both of those that's the first time i've ever repurchased skincare so that should just tell you how much i love this stuff my eyebrows are a little dark because i just dyed them yesterday also if you guys want to know how i dye my own eyebrows i have a video on my channel so you guys should check that one out i love being able to do it myself so then the last step is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with SPF 30. I've used the Ultra Facial Cream without SPF and with SPF, and I think the one with SPF is so much better. And also, it has sunscreen in it, so it's even better for your skin. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that. I used to use a lot of this, but it doesn't really take that much, to be honest. And I take this down my neck as well. This stuff makes my skin so glowy but it doesn't make my skin feel greasy at all. It dries, it dries, but it still looks like so hydrated, if that makes sense, as if I had just applied it. And I love that. I love a glowy look. So this helps me achieve that on like no makeup days, which I have a lot of those lately because I just honestly really like the way my skin looks. So that's my skincare and I do that in the morning and night so I don't change up anything. Also, another product I really love that I actually ran out of and I might honestly go repurchase it today is the Niacinamide by The Ordinary. I know a ton of people love that and it just really helps keep like your oil under control. So obviously it helps with breakouts and pores and all that stuff. So I might go buy that today and put that back into my skincare routine because it really helped me with those like under the surface little not even quite pimples yet but just like under the surface and they just like stay there if that makes sense like it just kind of looks like there's t texture on your skin so probably gonna go pick that back up and add that into my skincare routine but honestly this is amazing I recommend all these products and I'm gonna link them all down below for you guys happy Sunday you guys I have been a little MIA I'm literally just gonna pop a squat on the floor really quick I've been MIA because Today just hasn't been that productive. I ended up staying with my mom again last night after having dinner with a friend 
and um, came back here this morning and just read a little bit. And then it like started to storm kind of, so I just laid in bed and kept on reading. And now I'm like, okay, I kind of want to do a few things now that the sun has come back out. So I'm going to run back to Target to pick up some sticky notes and those little dividers that I was talking to you guys about. And then I'm also going to run to the grocery store to meal plan for this week. And then I think that's where I'm going to wrap the vlog up um, after I show you guys what I prep for myself for lunches just because I think that that's like super motivating. I cannot talk. I think that that's super motivating for me. So hopefully that can motivate you guys maybe. All right, I just got back from a few stores actually. I ended up picking up another journal just to have just in case for a few extra things that I might want to like jot down throughout the day. And um, I picked up the sticky notes and then I also got groceries for my lunch this week. I've decided on just making BLT wraps. But I already had everything for them other than the bacon, so that's what I got. I had to pick up a prescription. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go on my walk just to kind of get it out of the way. I just had coffee because I'm like dragging right now even though I got like such good sleep last night. I went to bed pretty early. Ooh, and then I'm probably gonna end up preparing my lunches like when I get back from my walk to just to get that out of the way as well. And honestly, probably call it an early night. Um, I don't know, I've been really tired lately, which is weird, because I feel like I've been getting a lot more sleep than usual. But a little more sleep never hurt anybody, so. All right, my bacon just got done cooking, and it looks so freaking good, but like really greasy. So I'm gonna have to kind of pat that off before I prepare them. But I have the mayonnaise. Instead of using lettuce, I'm using spinach. And then this is, the wrap that I'm using. So this is only 50 calories per wrap, which is super awesome. And then I have the tomatoes here, which are drenched in <laughs> salt and pepper just for extra flavor. And then strawberries to go with it. I'm gonna prepare one really quickly and then show you guys. So this is obviously very self-explanatory, but I just put mayonnaise down, the spinach and tomatoes, and then put three pieces of bacon. I'm gonna wrap it up and then finish making the others. That is going to wrap up this video. I had so much fun filming and I hope you guys enjoyed. I also hope you guys have a great week and if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.